Hey guys, it's Dylan Self with JTech. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a relay test. Um, we're going to do it on this Chrysler Pacifica. Um, we're going to test the horn relay because it's easy, easy to test. Um, first thing, first start off with your meter. Um, you want to check your your source power. So positive, negative on the battery. So you're forgetting. We're getting 1219. Okay. Um, first test we're going to do is we're going to make sure the circuit is getting power on both sides. So you're going to take your meter, you're going to go black to the negative side of the battery, and you're going to go to the number 85 on the relay. All right, 1219. Yep. And then go to the number 30 on the relay. 1219, yep, so we're getting power throughout the complete circuit. All right, guys, what we're going to do next is we're going to take our test light and we are going to hook it up to the positive side of the battery. And we are going to jump it to number 86 of the relay spot. And when we do that, go ahead and hit the button. We get the light lights up on the test light. What that's doing is that it's showing that when you hit the button, it's closing the circuit, um, grounding it out. All right. All right, guys. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our jumper wire. Um, use the one that's got a fuse in it, just so you don't have any issues. Um, and you're gonna jumper 30 to 87. And when you do that, you should get. A horn blow. All right. We're good. All right, final test is we're going to test the relay itself. Um, this is simple. Pretty much get your multimeter, set it to ohms. Um, you're going to jump 85 to 86 on the relay. and And if you're getting a resistance, coil's good. Um, if you're not getting a resistance, if it's saying overload or anything like that, then that means you probably got a bad relay. All right, this has been Dylan with JTEC. Thanks.